Hi, I'm Jessica Lyle. Thank you for watching our video series about women's ministry at LPC. In this video, Gracie Rabin and Amy Sweat will share with you about their experiences and their hopes about getting involved here at LPC. I'm Amy Sweat, and I've been at LPC since I was a baby. I'm Grace Rabin, and I've been at LPC for six years. Um, since I've been at LPC, I have been involved um, in a lot of small groups. I uh, was in one through high school, and I now lead one um, of high school girls. Um, and I also serve on the worship team um, on some Sundays. Okay, I would say that my um, growth and involvement really started in high school um, when I started to come to church, um, not just as a regular member, but also got more involved in youth ministry. Um, I was really involved um, with the group as a whole, but also my small group. Um, and that small group of Just Girls was um, a really neat experience for me to see um, how we can grow and challenge one another in way deeper ways um, than I thought I could have imagined. Um, I also have worked on the other side of youth ministry, um, serving um, and helping be a leader for that. Okay, so going from um, such a good, um, deep and rich community in high school, um, being a student and serving um, and entering into that adulthood was a little bit of a weird experience. Um, I know for a while I didn't really know um, where my place might have stood. Um, and I think I definitely was able to maintain friendships um, and some community here, but I was also a little bit um, taken aback and felt like I had woken up, like I had just come from this great community and now what do I do? What, what's next? Like, am I gonna have that again? I agree with Amy um, a lot on that. I feel like um, going from such a rich and um, just very um, enlightening high school time in the youth ministry um, to the women's ministry um, was a very difficult transition. And um, I resonate with Amy on the not really knowing where I belonged in that time um, and still trying to find that area and that group. Um, of being involved in women's ministry um, and being a part of that at LPC. So I think um, something that makes a really good and wonderful and rich community is um, people pursuing one another. Um, not necessarily that everyone has to know everyone, but that someone who may be 16 um, years old or someone who may be 65 years old um, can it knows somebody is pursuing them um, and looking for them to grow um, and to just um, have fellowship and community with others. I agree a lot with Amy on that. Um, I feel like you come out of high school pretty timid um, and just not knowing um, where to go because there are so many options or not enough options. Um, and I just think that being reached out to by one of the women in the women's ministry or in the church um, and just kind of taking you under their wing would be very helpful um, in that transition and in that time. Yeah, I can definitely say um, I, from the youth ministry, have gotten to know some of the parents and those being moms of some of the students. And some of them have reached out to me before and it makes a huge difference in making me feel like I belong. Um, I also think another thing that is important with being pursued is um, women our age and even younger, older, um, reaching out and stepping out of their comfort zone a little bit. Um, I know it's hard, um, but it's one of those things that um, it's going to go both ways where we have to pursue them and they have to pursue mm -hmm. us. Yeah, I agree with Amy on that. Um, coming out of high school, uh, I was told as a um, person who was staying here um, for college to reach out to an older woman um, to just uh, use her wisdom 
um, and hope that she can mentor me as an older woman who has lived longer and has more life experience. Um, and I didn't do that. Uh, and so I do agree with Amy that it is definitely a mutual thing where it's um, both people participating rather than just one. Um, I also think something going from um, high school and kind of, um, you know, middle school and even beyond that um, into adulthood is I kind of throughout the years have looked at um, my peers and people my age as my brothers and my sisters. Um, and I think just recently I have come to see it's way beyond um, just high school age who is my brothers and sisters and of course I knew that but it really kind of sunk in that there are um, loving sisters who have so much wisdom um, and knowledge and just deep friendship and relationship um, that I think is worth pursuing um, and having someone um, kind of share that with us as well. I think it's important that by younger women being involved in women's ministry that other younger women are going to be attracted to it by seeing um, more people their age and then they can experience um, that sisterhood that Amy was talking about um, of all ages um, that can benefit you in many, many ways. Learning more about my gifts um, kind of, it started in high school and it's continuing on and I think it just continues to continue. Um, but I think something about um, someone older than me and especially someone who may have the same gift as me, um, talking to me about it, um, advising me on how to use it or um, maybe ways that I can challenge myself in ways that I'm not gifted. Um, and I think another thing is when you have a gift or you have something that you are passionate about and someone sees that and points it out, it just makes you all the more passionate and all the more um, encouraged to keep um, growing in that and pursuing it. Um, going off of what Amy said, um, I am very passionate about youth ministry and working with kids um, of that age and um, having uh, women come up to me and thanking me for that um, and thanking me for what I do and also um, with the worship team uh, like Amy said really feeds that passion um, of youth ministry and worship and really encourage me encourages me to uh, continue to grow in those areas something that I have realized that I could really use um, especially in this time of uh, um, kind of in between this um, is just wisdom on the pains of life. Um, as a person who is pretty easy to talk to, um, I have a lot of people who will share some things with me um, that are just different trials that they're going through um, or just different difficulties in life. Um, and I don't always know how to respond or how to be there for them. Um, and so uh, having some very biblically grounded women in my life who have seen a lot more than I have, who have probably seen the same experiences um, that these people are going through or that I'm going through, um, could really help me know how to walk um, through that trial or through that time. Yeah, I definitely think that there is a certain, I guess, just wisdom um, that we can learn from people who are older and have been through those things or know people who have been through those things. Um, I am just getting started in my adult life and I've already had to experience some things that were really tough. And um, I think being able to talk to somebody about that and maybe hear about some of their struggles and um, how the Lord um, was with them through those and um, how he encouraged them um, is something that is huge that I have personally seen um, women encourage me that way. But I also think it would be um, so great to continue to see that um, for everyone. As single women in the church, I think something that is really beneficial through that um, 
one thing that I can think of is time. Um, you have time to support fellow women um, and time to provide your services, whether that's just watching someone's kids for a night so that they can um, just take that time to themselves and, re um, and just recharge or serving as just a helper in the uh, women's ministry, if that's by reaching out to other women or just writing cards, praying for them, anything like that. Um, and at the same time, I think singleness sometimes can be really hard. Um, personally, that's where I'm at, and I know that there are others um, in the same place. And I know that we all have um, a place here, and that there are people who love us and will encourage us through that time. Um, and we can know that we are not alone and that there's really good, rich community and friendship um, to be had even during the times that we can feel really alone. We have a lot of brothers and sisters here who are very passionate about the word and very passionate about um, Christianity and what comes with it. And I think that it's really important, important as women um, to study God's word and to delve into it. Um, and a part of that can be in this community that we have at LPC as women. Thanks for watching this video. We hope that it encourages you to know Christ more and to feel like you can come and be a part of this women's ministry. If you would like more information, please check out the email listed below.